Hello guys and welcome to yet another video. In this video, we'll uh, set up an Angular application and set up a Firebase project inside that. So, first up, we'll scaffold out an Angular application, and uh, let's do that quickly. So, I'm in Visual Studio Code, and uh, let me just press Control Backtick, and this is going to open the terminal now. Let me just switch that to Command Mode by typing in CMD, and now I'll quickly navigate to the C drive inside the development folder and the angular folder where I prefer to keep my angular applications. Now in here I'll type in ng space new and the name of my project and let me just call this uh, firebase auth sample. And let me just wait for it to get scaffolded out and this will take a lot of time by the way. So. Uh, Let's just wait for this to get completed. All right, guys. So now that the project is has successfully scaffolded out, let me just clear the screen and I'm going to navigate to the project folder. So the name was Firebase Auth Sample. And now inside this, let me just serve the app and see what it looks like. I'm also going to open the folder in here so firebase auth sample and let's just wait for it to open up and now i'll have to probably again run ng serve so ng serve hyphen o and let's wait for this to serve up all right, so now this is up and running. Uh, if I have a look at the application as of now, this is how it looks like. Perfect. So now uh, let me just quickly open another command prompt here. I will type in CMD again to switch back to the command prompt. And now I'll create a new module. So ng, g for generate, m for module. And I'm gonna call it app hyphen Firebase. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a folder inside my app folder and add a module file to it. So far so good. Now let me just uh, open this up fully. And in here, I'm going to get rid of a few things that I don't really need. So I don't really need the common module. So I'm gonna remove that from the imports array as well. I'm, on, I'm, gonna, I'm also gonna get rid of the declarations array as of now. I just need an exports array here and that's pretty much it. Let's just save this as of now. Now let me just quickly install a few modules in here. So I'm going to install uh, the Fontosome module, Angular Fire, uh, Bootstrap and Firebase. And I'm also going to save it inside my package.json as a dependency. So let's just install that. And this is again going to take some time. All right, so the modules are installed as well. And uh, now let me just quickly go ahead and open up my package.json. And in here, if you have a look, then these are also added as a dependency. The font awesome, Angular Fire, Bootstrap, and Firebase. So all these are added to my package.json as well. So far so good. Now in my Firebase module that I've uh, created manually, I'll import the Angular Fire um, module. And to do that, I'll have to first import that from Angular Fire 2. So import angular fire module from angular fire 2 okay and now i can simply call the initialize app method in it but before that i need some configuration so the project configuration is something that i'll be able to find on my firebase console project here and since this is an angular application i would be needing although all the configurations are same but uh, i'll simply click on the web app configuration here and this generates some configuration for me which i'm simply going to copy like so
let's just copy this and let me just go back to my angular app and in here i'm going to open environment.ts and after the production i'm going to uh, type in firebase and i'm going to assign these configuration to that i'm also going to get rid of all these um, double quotation marks and replace them with single quotation marks and now inside this environment dot firebase so now i have initialized my firebase application let me just move this down and move this up all right and now since i would be needing uh, the i am implementing firebase authentication i would need another module and the name of this module is angular fire auth module and i'm going to import it from angular fire 2 slash auth okay and then i'm also going to import that and add it to my imports array and again i'm going to export these two modules from my exports array i won't be initializing the app in the export section let me save that and now in my app module which would be my root module i would be importing the app firebase module that i've just created and i've also imported that so far so good and this is how I have uh, successfully initialized my Firebase application and I've added that as a dependency and imported that Firebase module inside my app module. And again, the application looks like that without any change. Okay. So this was it regarding the setup of uh, my Firebase application. Uh, inside the angular app that I just created and now uh, this also marks the end of section 1 in the next section we will talk about enabling different sign-in providers so I'll see you guys there